What up, what up, what up, Wheat Field? This your girl, Lati, here at Tears and Wheat to Row Show, where you show sure enough, never know what you're going to get. It is late, it, or, or super early, whichever one you want to quantify it, whichever way, you know, you look at it from perspective, but we are up and I cannot rest. This has been like the second night in a row where I am up like super late and just cannot go to sleep so again we might as well jump on in here pull some cards and see what the energy is see what's going on in the field why you know uh i can't rest and, and what's what's stirring right so uh let's just jump on into some cards y'all let's see i got a couple of my random card deck out and just see what's sticking to my hand this we got this right here is triple zeros. See if we can get that in there. It says reset, return, cycle starts. A new cycle is starting. Yeah. You know, this right here. Anything else up here, Father? Anything else? No. Okay, so I guess the main energy of this read right here is going to be uh, a new cycle is starting. Do we have cards out on the table that we can use? Yeah, which ones? This one. Okay, thank you, Father, for being here with us, the eternal Lord of all, of creation, all of creation, the infinite intelligence of the all and the breath of life that binds us all. Yes, creation is whole. Thank you so much for my connection to my awareness of my connection. Keep me safe as we channel this message. Let it be edifying for me so I may edify you, edify you wheat who needs this message and let them be edified and let us come together over the message and increase our magnification thank you so much that's a lot of cards you want all of this no oh. these this 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 anything in here no okay mix those up good i definitely feel some energy in here Definitely feel some energy. Yeah. This. 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 No. Is there anything else in here? Questioning everything. Everything unaligned must go. So maybe in this cycle, you are going to um, be removing some things. Reset. Cycle starts. A new, new cycle is starting. So, any and everything that's unaligned to your life, that's not good for you, um, it's time for you to let those things go. You will not be able to take them into the new cycle that you're starting. You won't be able to take them with you. Trust the wave you came in on time is not running out. And I feel this in reverse. Um, like maybe... Again, that cycle is restarting, so time is running out. Boundaries, let it go. It's not yours to carry. So you may, again, be carrying around things that are unaligned to you that must go away, that you must let go of. Yeah. Again, trust the timing. Trust the way that you came in on. The timing is not running out. And I feel like this it is running out. Like you don't have the time that you think. Is there anything else in this deck? No. Yeah, you did say no. All path leads home. Turn your gaze inward. So again, there's something not aligned to you, beloved, that you need to really work out. This camera light is so odd. So, there's something, a new cycle is starting definitely, and, you know, maybe there was an issue with your boundaries and allowing things to come in to you, or maybe you feel like you're carrying way too much weight of the world, you're feeling like you're carrying too much, is not yours to carry whatever this is, it's time for you to let it go to let go anything that's unaligned to you and let it fall away to the wayside but time is not running out i don't feel like this energy right here 
the card is in the upright, but I do. It feels like it was a challenge or like uh, you don't have as much time as you think you do. Is this? This? Maybe. Oh, well, that was a lot. This one? This one? Anything? Yes, this ain't here. It's energy is heavy. This, this, which one, this one, this, okay. What would happen if I didn't try to control my future? Yeah, it's something with control and boundaries. Letting things go is not yours to carry. It's not yours to carry. It's time to let it go. Let go what whatever is not allowing to your life questioning everything what or who am i beneath all of my roles is that it yeah questioning who everything asking yourself the question who am i really behind all of my roles underneath everything that i may know about self who am i really who are you what is your gift to the world have you discovered it that might be the challenge, trusting the timing, you know. Have, do you realize who you are and what gift it is that you bring to the world? Maybe you don't believe, you know, or maybe you think that time is running out. Somehow I feel like time is a factor. Either you're not moving now, you feel like, you know, you're challenged about when to move, when to do this thing, you know. What is my gift in the reverse means, like, are you uh, having a challenge with feeling like you haven't, you don't have enough time to discover your gift and what it is that you are uh, looking to put out, like your purpose. Yeah. What advice on life would I give to myself if I was a mother and wished nothing but happiness for my child? You know, what advice would you give you if you were just uh, wanting to seek happiness? Child is here at the bottom. I don't know what is the decision that you're making. Uh, a cycle is starting, so something new is coming in. Maybe it has something to do with some privilege. Maybe your gift will put you in a privileged space. Or maybe your gift would impact the privilege um, that you... The luxury lifestyle that you have acquired. You know, a mature man is here. So I don't know if you are a male or um and you're going through a reset uh, you know again i said a reset and change came right out you know gift what is my gift to the world is right here and gift is here so maybe there's something with that maybe this gift is something that you're going to love yeah something that you are thinking about you know, who am I beneath all of these roles? And this new season, this new start, new start, death is right here. Completion of the old and starting anew. Somebody was false? No. Shuffle. Is there anything else in here? No. Maybe it have an expectation of poverty. Maybe you feel like you're going to lose. Again, holding on to control, feeling like you need to uh, secure, be secure, or have some sort of sense of security, I feel. Yeah. Despair. Yeah, somebody feels like they're going to end up in despair. If they don't maintain control, they feel like, you know, despair is what's going to be the end result. But whatever, ooh, adjudication, are they making a choice about something? And that, but see, adjudication means that somebody else is involved to make the choice. Maybe you don't 
have feel like you have control over the choices that you make and if somebody is going to judge you about the choices that you make you know if that be the case yeah you know they're gonna judge you people may have an expectation about you and what it is and how it is that you are supposed to be performing and you know maybe they're saying things to you delivering messages you know um text messages phone call they're just seeing stuff on social media you may get a message in about this cycle closing and coming to an end or whatever have you um or maybe this message is for somebody in particular you know and the most high wants you to know that you can release some of this control here what would happen if i didn't try to control my future and the weight of the world is not yours to carry let it go let go whatever it is is something that you're thinking about is challenging you in your thoughts who or what am I beneath all of these roles? And the ability to release the things that are not aligned to you, to lift the veil, lift it. And one of those things, one of the ways that you do that is by questioning self. Again, you're going to get a message. Something is going to come in and tell you to verify what your gift is. Maybe you are in prayer. Maybe you are seeking revelation. Maybe something is going to come into you. But for me, a gift of abundance comes from the inside out. It is self-discovery. Once you let go of control and really dig into who you are beneath all of these layers, underneath your thoughts and get into balance with your thoughts, you know, you will be able to see your gift. You will be able to relieve some of this despair because I feel like the despair is a part of this cycle that you're going through. Are you dealing with a female? Look at that. I had it turned the wrong way. So maybe that's a message that the person that you're dealing with was not the right person. Yeah, this main female, the energy feels upside down. And look what's behind that. Coffin. Yeah, maybe maybe the relationship with this person has died. Maybe you felt like they were, you know, suchy muchy or whatever. Or maybe somebody in this relationship is going to pass and that somebody else is going to be a privileged person. Maybe they are going to get some unexpected income because bad health is here. And a message is also back out with change. Again, somebody has an expectation. I don't know if somebody knows that they are ill and, um, you know, some sort of gift is going to be left. Again, look at this, yo. I don't know if somebody it knows that they are ill and a transition could be impacted. What would happen if I didn't try to control my future? Mature man. I said that. There's a mature man. And what is this? Despair. Again. Adjudication. Some Somebody feeling like they're going to be judged for something. Somebody is being judged for something. I, for causing despair... Is this main man being judged? Yes. Is is he going to end up in despair? Yeah. What is the coffin? Does it have anything to do with the... Is this a person? Is it an energy? It's the chaos. Is it immaturity? Yeah. Immaturity. Somebody is immature. Their disposition is immature. Again, somebody is going to end up a privileged lady. It's going to be a gift. Wealthy. 
wealthy. Official person and poverty is also right behind there. Official person, poverty, wealthy man. We see this mature man over here with judication and judgment. Immaturity here with the child. Immaturity and despair. Despair. So I feel like in this little corner we have a mature man who's being judged for his immaturity and that's going to lead him to despair. Maybe it has something to do with the relationship because we saw the mature woman as well. What did I say? We saw the mature woman as well. It's a mature woman. Put a dead to a situation releasing control. Starting a whole nother cycle. Conflicted by thoughts. Rediscovery. Who am I beneath all of my worlds? Lifting the veil. Questioning anything and everything that must go. This one. This. Yeah. What did I say? Wealthy man. Mature woman, wealthy man, and it's a challenge with death. Is that a relationship? Yeah, somebody that was supposed to have high honor. But imprisonment is here. We have imprisonment and we have courthouse as well. I've been getting this reading come out something like this for a while. Yeah, book, thief. Yeah, this mature, this wealthy man over here was a thief was a thief. Mature woman, thief. Was the woman a thief? No. The wealthy man was supposed to, it was he honorable? The spirit said no. Somebody in service. Yeah, somebody in service. Somebody that's supposed to have a service. And again, they were lovers. Yeah, the relationship was the challenge. Something else, okay. Imprisonment, right back. Somebody is either imprisoned in their thoughts, the honor, or is this wealthy man? The wealthy man is going to go to prison? Or is the wealthy man's honor locked up? Like his honor, imprisonment, honor, status, service, all oh, the. It, it's backwards. It's going this way. Okay, so this wealthy man is challenged. His service is locked up because of the theft from that he did to this mature woman. Is that right? Okay. So this wealthy man's honor, his service is in a is this wealthy man is challenged in his service and is kind of locked up and held up because of whatever this theft was right here, and it was against this mature woman who looks like is blocked, like dead, not trying to control, walking away, releasing boundaries, let it go. So the woman let it go or put in boundaries. Is that what happened? Yeah. But at the same time, it feels like, who am I beneath these roles and thoughts and the challenge? The cycle is starting over again. Releasing anything that's not aligned. Stepping into your privilege, into your gift. And I hear the word service again. Maybe you as a mature woman or coming out as a privileged lady, not necessarily a mature woman anymore, but a privileged lady, um, that is going to be a gift to you or you will discover your gift because the question that's in reverse is what is my gift to the world? Or maybe you know what the gift is and this is going to help you realize and really manifest your gift. 
yes but there's something about the timing that you don't trust like the timing is a challenge maybe you're gonna have to go on a journey maybe you have to go somewhere because again we see the mature man who's childish being judged and adjudicated we saw a courthouse as well and despair end up here this feels very similar to another read that we just did up late at night again couldn't rest and this reading feels very very familiar it's like the same energy so i don't know if this maybe we maybe if you are the mature woman we and this mature man is over here because that's a match mature woman to mature man right here if if this maybe this person is up maybe they can't sleep maybe they are challenged in the thoughts you know ruminating in their mind you know or maybe you we can't sleep you know maybe you are going over this like questioning like the boundaries is put in place but it's still who or what am i beneath all of my roles and a message something some sort of message is going to come in something about what you're expecting because we keep seeing this expectation and message this sudden wealth Sudden wealth from the theft. Somebody is in a bad way or they did something bad. This man, the man, again, this theft. This man, is it more than one person? Ah, they worked with somebody else to do this. And we saw that in another reading that they worked with somebody else. The other one, I felt like it was a female energy. But that doesn't mean that the person is female. It just means that they could have a female or a feminine type of energy. Something that somebody worked for. Same thing. Yeah. Worked for. I hear it. Is it the soul journey cards that you want? No. I hear soul journey. Do you want to get them out? Yes? Right, well, you said no. Is there anything else on the table that you want? What is it? These? Okay. Back to this one? Okay. This? Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. So maybe you're somebody that, again, is gift learning how to be in it whatever it is may have taught you something i'm hearing compassion or understanding you know the ability to discern you know discern what was good for you because you hooked up with something that wasn't good for you yeah is there anything else in here Is it in here? Where is it? Right here? Is it this one? This? Yeah, your life is a canvas. Manifestation, creative accountability. Creative accountability. Whatever it is that you're going to create, manifest, it's going to come from this gift. You have a gift. And what is the gift? The question is in reverse. So I feel like you know. You may have an inkling, an understanding of what the gift is. And it's going to come in, I think, as a result of this situation. You know, having you to rediscover this. Rediscover what it is who you are based on this you are able to come into this wealth of abundance a wealth of of connectivity i feel not necessarily money i feel you know abundance in the true sense of abundance yeah surrender to the sweetness venus energy pleasure joy make love to life i feel like that's a challenge or you were challenged with that 
you were challenged with uh, receiving joy, I feel. Receiving joy, seeing joy, um, making love to life. Is there anything in here? No. This? Anything? No. Okay. Was it this? Okay. Cracked open. Surrender to the alchemy of life. Whatever this is, beloved, it cracked you wide open. And I've been reading this for a little bit of a minute, too. Especially, uh, is one where uh, somebody was broke down to the dust. I mean, to the brake pads, beloved. Brake pads. And, uh, yeah. Been there, understand that. I can resonate with you for, for, for sure. Yeah, none of this matters. Zooms out, common ground. Maybe this person feels like this mature man who's got, going through judgment, sitting here in an immature, uh, childish like energy. I feel like the woe is me crying and whining, complaining, like, like a child kind of thing in despair. You know, feeling like nothing matters, woe is me, you know, just out of it, zoomed out, yeah. Common ground is in a challenge, especially if this person stole something. Maybe they're attempting to hold on to their honor. Maybe it's something about reputation that uh, was... But again, this person is a thief. The cards say that they are a thief. Longing for home. Oh, homesick. Maybe this person, do they realize what they've done? Do they want the mature woman back? The home, is it anything to do with home? Do they just want to take everything back? Like start all over again, again, that despair. Start all over. They want to start over, restart, like do it over again. If I could go back, you know, in time, protection, loyalty, trust, safety, that wasn't here. That's for sure. Conflict. Definitely. Can y'all see that? There we go. Conflict. That was the conflict. Theft. Definitely. Well, I know I can feel there's something else in here. Now I feel like I could be sleepy. Now I feel like I can probably lay down and rest. Where is it? Is it this? This? Is the deck done? Oh. It feels so heavy. We back on loyalty and trust, though. Because that shit was definitely in reverse. Spirit is about to rip my arm up. <laughs> <laughs> to make it turn around. I don't know if I can get this card in here to show you. Can you see it now? Yeah. Loyalty and trust was not there. Maybe you thought this was somebody that you could trust. Somebody that was going to be loyal to you with this high honor card. But it was, you know, maybe it was pent up inside of them, locked up. Like they maybe for some reason, yeah, physical, emotional healing. Maybe they needed to do some healing. Maybe their heart space was still locked up. Their honor was was not um it was not genuine. It was locked away. Or maybe that whatever they took from you was going to lend them to jail. You know, again, yeah, nourishment and rest and tenderness. Maybe their heart was locked away. Their honor, um, I feel reputation, uh, ethics, morals was all locked up. It wasn't, it wasn't free-flowing. 
you know, and you have to have your ethics and mor morals and shit locked away in order to rob somebody. But spirit is saying for you to rest, to uh, take care of yourself. Maybe you're telling me to go to bed now. That could be it. Yeah, thank you, spirit. Yeah, wait, it's not time. Things are still being worked out. Yeah, whatever this is in this space, things are still being worked out. There's something else? Okay. Things are still being worked out. Wait, let's see what else is this. Um, was this the card right here? Let's see if we can get this. This. It's happening. Hold your vision. So something is in place right now. This cycle that's restarting is in place. Keep your vision. This is what you're thinking on going over and over and over and over and over again. Maybe trying to determine what the outcome is going to be in terms of this whole thing. Who or what am I beneath all of my roles? Or again, you could be rediscovering who you are in this space, right? Lifting the veil, removing things that are not aligned to you. That is going to be the abundance, your peace, your peace of mind is abundance. Goodness, these cards is heavy. Jump in, say yes to change, no. Is there something turned around in here the wrong way? I got a definitely a couple of splits. We got make your life a moving prayer. Pray more often. Meditate. Power places. Trust where you've been led. Wherever you're going right now in this situation, the divine is with you. is guiding you. Again, the divine is with you. It's guiding you. You're not alone. That's a part of it. In all paths leads to home. Empathetic, empathic star seed, observing, absorbing what's not yours. Again, taking on things that don't belong to you. Karmic relationships. I didn't even realize that's what that says. Karmic relationship. That's exactly what this was. A karmic relationship. And we see a lot of young people or people in general getting into these karmic types of relationships, right? People feel like they've been robbed in relationships where, you know, um, women and men getting together for uh, reasons that are not necessarily built around service. And people feel like they're being robbed. But in this case, somebody could have actually been robbed of their something that they worked very hard for. And there is a message of concern that's coming in. And this mature man over here, well, this older man, I feel like this is an older person with an immature childish dis disposition that is going to be judged. They have a childish attitude. Their attitude is childish. And woe is me. Like victimizing, despairing type of energy, I feel. And they, they yeah, is homesick. Like, but not necessarily home. Their feeling for home is locked up. The home, their heart space is locked up. None of this matters. Again, that's that despairing type of energy. Absorbing what's not yours. That's in this karmic space. Is there anything else? Yeah, we can get these. We're getting tired, y'all. We're probably going to wrap it up. We're going to wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. We're heading into 35 minutes on this message. See, is there anything else that Spirit could say? Is this one good? Yeah, this. Chemistry. There's a strong connection here. 
So maybe you two are tethered or corded in some kind of way to each other. Could be the reason why I'm up in the middle of the night feeling the energy. Because maybe this person, again, the thoughts are a challenge. Who or what am I? At who, what or who am I beneath all my roles? What or who am I beneath all my roles? I literally had to touch each word to get it out. It feels, you know, very clunky. Make the effort. Somebody to reconciliation? Oh, goodness. Make the effort to reconciliation? Is that it? Is somebody going to make the effort? No. They're not going to move. They're in despair. There's no common ground. They feel like it doesn't matter. Their perspective is off, I feel. Perspective is way off. Again, childish. Being childish. They're childish. Is it children involved? No. Is the attitude, the demeanor. Again, I asked Spirit earlier if there were children involved. Children, no. Spirit said, do you want this? No. I do see unrequited love, though. It's unrequited, but Spirit says not this. Was the love unrequited? Yeah. It wasn't real. Again, we see karmic relationship. There was something going on here where it wasn't real. This. Forgiving and learning. So maybe that's a part of what you're thinking about. Now in this new space, since you put a dead to it, it's a dead. Did it a karmic relationship where something was stolen from you in the past? You deaded it, right? Looking at your boundaries, not taking on the problems of other people, you know. Whether or not you had chemistry with this person or not, you guys are connected in some sort of way. Whether this is, again, it's a karmic relationship, something that probably came in with you that you contracted to do. You know how karmic relationships go. You know, that whole thing is, you know, I, I believe in soul contracts and that you, you contract to do something and that feels like it was, but it was not your true love. You know, maybe, you know, the true love is the gift that's going to be coming now that you understand, you know, whatever it is that you got in terms of boundaries. Here, Spirit is saying you had to learn some boundaries. And that is going to, your true love could come, but it's in a challenge. And it's a challenge because, oh, is this person blocking new love from coming in some kind of way this situation is this energy is blocking or making it a challenge for you to receive true love again i'm feeling that question what or who am i beneath all of my roles this person has had you question who you are or forget Forgiving and learning. You're going to have to relearn who you are or unlearn a lot of stuff. It, it came to help you unlearn. Unlearn and teach you what it is that you're supposed to be doing. To unlock you, I feel. Yeah. New love and wedding is here. True love is, to come in is a challenge. But if you could open up after everything, all of this stuff, new love in marriage could be on the horizon. But you do, I do see that you're dealing with somebody, another energy is still this person in some kind of way that's being judged, probably because of this. It's a whole, it's, it is, it's another energy here. Who is this other energy? This one? In this one. Friends. Yeah. Imprisonment. Ooh, somebody could end up going to jail too. I feel like, yeah. These two people over here are kind of locked up in whatever it is that they did. High honor and thief. 
what is that combination? Like a high profile theft? Uh, maybe it's a lot of money. Then reading that, it's a lot of money. Somebody stole a lot, a lot of money. What did I say? Somebody stole a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Finance. Finance. Financial issues is a part of this. They stole money. Yeah, they did. You could trust that. Trust is in the challenge. You, you don't trust no more. You don't trust people. Because they did you wrong. We, whoever these people are, they did you wrong. Wow. Maybe you didn't really know these people. Maybe you didn't really know these people. You know, reconciliation is behind that. And religious factors are behind that. Reconciliation... But getting to know each other, maybe you didn't really know this person long enough or well enough. You know, again, new love and spirit is like new love. I saw a wedding. Now it says this could be the one. And this split right here. And you probably already doing a little bit of flirting with this person. You know. Might be doing a little bit of, you know. I don't know. Do they know him yet? Is it going to start off light? Start off. Spirit won't tell me if you know him yet or not. You know what I mean? Spirit won't say all that. But um, it's going to start off light with just a little flirtation. A little flirting here and there. You know, a little razzle dazzle. This or this one. Okay. Healing family issues. Somebody is still healing. Healing from this right here. Yeah, we, yeah, you are. And that's a lot to heal from. Is there anything else in this deck? No. This is an energy. Getting to know each other. You can start, I guess, getting to know somebody. You know, again, what's pushing? Flirtation is right there. What's this? New love after deception. New love is after deception. New love after deception. That's pretty. Is there anything else to say? Yeah. Still healing from this past life relationship. This relationship, this karmic relationship is a past life relationship. It's a past life. It's not, if it's not past life, it's past, again, it's, a, this is the past energy. And it is, I feel that you are connected to this person in the spirit realm. Like it was an agreement. Like you said, I will do this. You took a, a it's a, a, a contract thing that you needed to do to come and deal with this situation. Whatever this situation was, it was to bring you into the realization and fullness or into this new cycle that you're going through to uncover self, to discover who you are, who or what I am underneath all of my roles, to really discover who you are. 